Okay, there we are. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Good evening. So, we I'm, I'm running way behind. I was, like, working on some stuff, and I looked, and it was five minutes to nine, and I, I hadn't really decided for sure on what, what game to play, but we've been, like, running around, and that's why we're kind of a little bit behind here. <laughs> you, you thought you had, like, an hour. I thought we had an hour. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I sent her a message saying, oh, my gosh, it's... It's, it's almost nine o'clock. I think I used a little, a little more words than that, a little, a little harsher words than that. But apparently, uh, audio is very choppy. Audio. Did something choppy. like this happen before? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna stop and I'll restart it. Oh, pro possibly. Maybe. Let's see if this fixes it. Let me know if it's better. We should be uh, resumed now. Let me know if it's better. All right. Now we got. Now we got to wait thirty seconds. Okay, it's fixed. Okay, fixed. It's yeah. fixed. That didn't. That didn't take long to uh, to get feedback on that. Yeah, that's a lot quicker than normal. Better, great, fixed. Thanks. Perfect. Perfect. Now. Look at all this. Look at all this praise. Uh, so here we are after months of promising. We, we are in night a, a trap is. A post night trap twenty five years later world. Yes, you yeah. know the the funny thing about uh, about that was in the interview you had to cut around because Jim Riley. What was it? He kept saying th was he saying thirty years later. Yeah, or yeah. Something? He really wanted to say you know it's I no you know I think he said I, I feel like he was saying forty years. <laughs> Maybe it was forty years. I don't know what he was saying. Right. But he like continued to say like like for, it's like, been forty years. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of instances of him saying forty years that I had to remove. So whenever you see like a piece of footage, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. You hear the, what? Uh, what happened? You could hear the. So I didn't. I saw a request for wirehead. I do not own wirehead, so I'm just burning a copy really quick. Shh. I'm not gonna say anything. About I don't know anything about Wirehead, uh, so but we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna be playing it. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, he di he mentions Wirehead in... as his like new project at the very end. Yeah, yeah, his new project, and that was like that that documentary was in like nine four nine five, right? Yeah, yeah, it was it was ninety five. So he was only, that <laughs> we talked about this a whole bunch. That is like pro maybe one of my favorite parts about the entire thing. Is oh, him yeah. saying, you know, I mean, in 20 years, parts, yeah. in, in 20 years, I know somebody's going to ask me about Night Trap. And, uh, you know, it's funny because he's only off by two years. And uh, yeah. it's it's just it's really it makes me laugh because. At the, like, who would have ever known it was going to be us? <laughs> like, we were the people. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, it, it's so crazy that it's finally out. I mean, the funny thing is last week was like maybe the only week where we didn't explicitly promise for like two months. We're like, you know, it might, it, it could be this week. I've got a good feeling it might be this week. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we didn't say that this week in a way because we were kind of almost especially sure it was going to release. Yes. But we didn't. We didn't want. We didn't want to say it this time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad that we didn't. And I'm happy that, like, you know, we didn't really say anything until like that morning, until we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I. I mean. It's just. It's. It's so crazy. It's finally out there. I mean, the feedback has been incredible. I mean, almost more than I had ever imagined. I mean, just overwhelmingly positive comments i mean it's very reassuring <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it makes me feel really good about like future projects and you know like i really felt like this was the i'd never like like i just felt like it was the best thing that i i'd ever done in terms of like editing and just you know like the way it, like it flowed it just it moved you know like it's it's 50 minutes long 49 minutes 17 seconds but it's you know, I feel like it feels a lot shorter than that. Like it really moves right. moves pretty good. And there, there's just a ton of information in it. I mean, I feel like 
it's just it's good that we put that information out there. You know, all this information from him talking about the production and the especially the pre-production, what led up to it. Right. Uh, you know, I just th- I think that information is so important. In fact, you said that someone had already added some information from our Jim Riley interview to the Wikipedia page on Night Trap. Yep. It's 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 pretty <laughs> surreal, you know, and it says, you know, uh, Tyler, who is also in the in the chat tonight, um, hopefully in the future, uh, in the next couple weeks, next who who knows, but we like he's he lives really close to me, so he's gonna come over and we're gonna play the new version with him. We can have uh, you know his commentary on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you know That's he he, he, does, he probably doesn't even want to look at the game ever again. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, he lives, like, right down the road from me. It is, in a way, it's almost like it was, like, winning the lottery in terms of me moving here and, like, all the kind of random things that kind of culminated in this happening. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty surreal. I, I was saying something else before I forgot what I was, I was saying, though. Uh I don't know. I don't, do you remember what I was saying before that? I don't know. Uh, no, not really. All right. Well, either way, you know, like, I'm very happy that it's out there. And uh, and also announced this week was that, that Limited Run is going to be doing a uh, limited uh, Blu-ray of it to sell alongside yeah. the game when it, goes, when it becomes available on, uh, on August 11th. Yeah. And uh, that's something that just kind of came together really super recently uh, yeah uh they sent me an email saying like oh you know like because i had showed it to them and uh because for those that don't know a condensed version of the uh of the documentary it's just like an edited interview it's like the edited interview with jim riley is actually included in the game Right. It's not not anything but Jim Riley talking, but it really flows well. Like, I think it tells a, a pretty complete story of the production. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but, yeah, that is that's in the game. We just kind of provide that just as a, a free service to the game. But... Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's is awesome being able to do this because, you know, I, I grew up with the game and it's just like I said, I think I said it in my Facebook post about it. I said. You know, if I, if you would have told me at 13 years old that I would have had the opportunity to have something to do with this game, like I, there's no way I would have ever believed you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think about it, you know, I, I think I think there's some moments in the interview where I know there is in our full documentary, but I think there is even in uh, in the version that's in the game where you can sort of hear hear you laugh a little bit in the right. background or something, you know, during the interview. And so your, your voice, your voice is in night trap and night trap <laughs> yeah. is going to be on a physical disc. Yeah. And that's like, that's <laughs> it's surreal. It is surreal. <laughs> uh, but you know, it like that, the version that's in the, in the game is it flows really well. It's just like, like Jim Riley's bites and I cover, you know, like the edits and stuff in, it, it takes a very different path than the uh, than our documentary, but it has a lot of the same info. Maybe, you know, a couple of different lines here and there, but yeah. for the most part, it's it's pretty close. But you know, like so the 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 Blu-ray that that uh, that Limited Run is doing, it's not only includes this, but it includes like uh, the like the mini doc that we did on HD Retrovision, uh, the Limited Run and games. Limited that, Run. And your uh, Cyan and the Mist series with Rand Milton. Yeah, every, er, everything that like everything we've done that has interviews in them, like right. is on that disc. But it is externally facing. It's just a it's just a, a Night Trap documentary Blu-ray. But right. we we've included these other things on them. I've honestly I've been shocked at after that was announced. Uh, I've been shocked at the response or even the people who didn't know that was happening, who were just like, Oh, I would love a physical copy of a Blu-ray of, of this documentary. So I've been really impressed with that. Like, cause they're only doing a thousand of the Blu-ray right. as opposed to like, how many is it of the game? It's, it's I think uh, the 8, biggest 000. one. 8,000. 8,000 yeah. of so the 5, game. 5,000 standard editions and 3,000 uh, limited editions. 
Yeah. And so in our Blu-ray is a, a separate thing that they're selling, kind of like they've done like CDs before, like they've right. done soundtracks. It's just a separate thing that you can buy in addition. They were just like, you know, we, we showed them the documentary when it was almost finished editing. And then like sometime later, like Josh got this idea. He was like, would you guys like us to make a Blu-ray? And we're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you like scrambled to get that done and like, you, you didn't have much time to to throw together the Blu-ray, but you said you had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, yeah, it, which so much fun that I think that, you know, uh, additional Blu-rays through us are definitely going to happen. And uh, it's just a matter of deciding what's going to be on each one, I think, pretty much, and securing the funding to, like, make it happen. Yeah, but I, I think this was a, a great way to, to make uh, to make the, the first run of blu-rays happen so i'm i'm real excited about that right and you know i just i had a, I had a great time putting it together uh when i lived in new york and i started a staff job a uh, staff job like as what i would later be become an editor at uh i <laughs> i started out that job like doing in the in the uh, dvd authoring department mm. and I had a lot of fun with it, you know. It's just you know you put things these things together, and I think see. That... I, I I hate making DVDs, so I was like so <laughs> surprised when you were like, "Man, I had a lot of fun doing that." <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, "I," you were like, "I want to do more." <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, "You do all you want." I hate making DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I maybe, mean, maybe Blu-rays are more fun. I don't know. No, I mean it's the same thing. I've never made a I've never made a Blu-ray. Yeah, but. Uh, Yes, yeah, so those will go on sale along with the uh, with the uh, with the game at the same day that we're going to be leaving for Missouri GameCon. So it's going to yeah, be a whirlwind. Right. Well, I think there's a possibility we'll probably have a new episode that day too. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what we're planning to do. Um, I, I think we're we're hopefully going to be able to get relatively back on like you know every other week occasionally. Yeah, three weeks in between, but we're like we're done doing this like month gap stuff. Yeah. Like we, it's, it's not that's got that's got to be over. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna do some easier episodes for a little bit, you know, like this, and then Saturn has, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. kind of taken a toll on me. And I, I've actually been been playing some actual games <laughs> for the first time yeah, in a while. Yeah, you got uh, you got near Automata. Yeah, Automata. Is that so that's how you say? It? I always thought it was Automata. It, well, I, I think I've gone back and forth. Okay. I have no idea which is correct. I have no idea. I, well, I say automatic. I, I, I've, I've said I've said both. I, <laughs> I, it's just one of those things that I've, I, I, I just flip back and forth. When I have no idea. Um, I really want that game though. <laughs> it's it's good. I think you should just buy the soundtrack right now because it's going to be too. You're you're going to want it anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, so... So tonight, we're going to just play some random FMV games. I'm going to start with, with Double Switch. Uh, in my scrambling, that was kind of like the first one that he said, oh, because we kind of talked about it for a minute earlier. So that's yeah. what we're going to start with. Uh, I'm not good at this game. I have not played it very much. Uh, I know basically nothing about any of these games that are on on offer for tonight. Well, maybe you'll maybe you'll think it's pretty cool. Uh, you, everyone in the chat, let me know if you can hear the game or not, because uh, apparently last week it was really quiet. Yeah, these, and this is something you're you're, you're definitely going to want to hear these FMV games. Yeah, but I mean we'll be talking over it anyways, for for the most part. Uh, this one has a significantly larger FMV window in it. Interesting. And uh, who is it? Uh, Tyler was just telling me that Mary Lambert, who the director of this, has done some like bigger stuff following this. And there's there's James Riley right there as the original. Like, like games or movies? Uh, TV shows and uh, I movies. Um, uh, maybe commercials. <laughs> so someone just uh, donated five dollars to get you to say Wilson or Scream Wilson. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, thank you, and second of all, I've I've actually never seen Castaway, so I cannot promise I'm doing this right. But 
Wilson! <laughs> I hope that was worth the five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, man, I'm watching the stream right now, and there's like very little lag today. That's cool. That's what that's okay. So that's the house traps, change room, arm trap. This one is kind of weird because you have to like prime the traps. I think. That, yeah. So this is like an expanded night trap kind of right yeah cory Haim, like cory Haim in this like when he's talking at the beginning here totally for some reason makes me think of shane lewis i don't know why it's just like his like the way he talks from re-res i don't know i it's just something about it like when i uh when i played this uh to grab footage for this for the documentary i was like wow it makes really makes me think of <laughs> really makes me think of Shane. I, it's I don't I don't. It's just the way he. Well, I I can't hear the game, so I, hmm. I, I I'm just looking at him. I'm like, I don't look like Shane. <laughs> that's Elizabeth. She's the manager. There's a problem. Don't expect. And that when the that's a uh, Debbie Harry from Blondie is in this. Blondie so, the so band. This is... I mean, uh, do you go to different rooms? Yes. Like this? So it's, this is very, this is really kind of Night Trap too. Kind of, maybe. Well, I guess it was kind of pitched as a follow-up to it, for sure. Mm -hmm. Not, not, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, I guess it's just like their, you know, first one they did after. Probably did, you know, when it was new. He's the one who's been screwing everything up around here. Trap him whenever you can. All right. There's oh. an emergency alarm going off now. Okay. My apartment. Stay here and cover me while I check things out. I don't remember. I think oh, we... Tyler uh, says Mary Lambert directed Pet Cemetery. I thought that one name sounded two. familiar. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen Pet Cemetery. Oh, did I see Pet Cemetery too? I might have. I thought the the first this, Pet this Cemetery. This one they had a. Uh, like, Pet Cemetery Two is the one with uh, Edward Furlong in it. With who? Edward Furlong, who plays John Connor in Terminator Two. Oh. oh. I, I, I think I did see it? Pet Cemetery Two. But I don't think it made as much of an impression as the first. The first Pet Cemetery I thought was uh, I think it's uh, was a lot better than I thought than I expected going at. It was actually a pretty creepy movie. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. Well, no, it's not loading. Uh oh. By the CD is like oh. There it goes. He's doing something. The band cam. I don't know. I wonder if the game is messing up. Does your disc look a little rough? No, no. It's like it's in great Thank condition. You, Mrs. Uh, I hope. Uh, I hope your your Sega CD isn't uh, having trouble. Let's not. Let's not talk about that. It's, it's, it's not <laughs> having trouble. So I take it the yellow ones are the ones I got to go after. So what are you trying to capture exactly? Who's bad in this? Well, it's kind of a like a, a surprise. I know who the bad guy is. Well, how do you know who to capture them? Well, I mean, I, I again, I can't hear the game, so I have no idea what the plot is. Yeah. Ugh. It's tough, man. It's you got to really know. I'm <laughs> just like fumbling. Oh. You got to kind of memorize this one a lot more, I feel like. Mm. So, Tyler, you've actually got a number of these Sega CD games. You've got like, they aren't as thoroughly <laughs> remade as uh, Night Trap is. 
Uh, but you've got some some uh, some releases on what is, is it iOS, I think, that uh, you've got like Double Switch yeah, and some some me. others available. I don't believe I know, Mr. Green. On Android, I think. It's like is this. it Android? Yeah, it's well. this and Quarterback Attack. Now, what is Quarterback Attack? I mean, I mean, it's I know it's something to do with football, but like, I don't know anything about uh like is it <laughs> oh that is kill him <laughs> well no i was supposed to do that oh <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm just Oh. You're just, you're just making all kinds of crazy stuff happen. I know. Oh, I thought that was a game over. Not quite. Oh. You gotta memorize. Like you really have to memorize where everyone's gonna be going. This is gonna happen right here. Hey, come on, step on it. Someone in the chat says this is my favorite game of all time. No joke. Well, I could, I, I could appreciate that. There was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there was uh did, did you see that uh forum thread where uh joe from GameSack posted uh the night trap documentary yeah, where, where did he where did he post it uh i think it was on some sega forum oh on the sega 16 yeah oh what did he say about it uh he, you know, i mean i i forget but he posted but the funniest thing was like that that whole thread uh kind of became the <laughs> <laughs> like, like trying to reason with this one guy who was like one of the first comments who was just like, I couldn't keep watching this because I couldn't stand how positively they were talking about this horrible Ugh. game. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, like this one guy like could just not accept that. I, I think he may be, I think he was talking about Jim Riley specifically. That like, he was like po talking about this horrible supposedly horrible thing he made in, in positive terms Ugh. and this guy could just not not accept that that's you know that's <laughs> so silly i mean i think that, like that was kind of a big thing you said that you showed me that comment from yesterday what did it say about uh you know i've never heard anybody talk about this game as anything more than than like a uh, i don't remember what the term he used like as like a bad game. Mm -hmm, and I think, mm -hmm. that, you know, we, we said very much that kind of going into it, it was, we wanted to talk about it as like something that was to be excited about. You know? Yeah. You know, so, something that, <laughs> this is, this is kind of silly because like I brought this up Come in on, every single you? interview that, uh, that we, um, that we did. And, you know, I, I mostly just got blank stares for this. But <laughs> coming at this from a, 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 a Nintendo guy's perspective, uh, when I see Night Trap, like, it makes me think of Majora's Mask because you're, you know, events play out the same way every time and you kind of have to do a little repetition to understand the sequence of events and what happens next and, you know, figure out how you can manipulate those events to make what you want happen. And that I, I Majora's mask is just one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, possibly even my favorite Zelda game, mm -hmm. which, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, 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 I would guess like within my top five favorite games. Of course, I say that, and there's more than five games that I would put in my top five favorite games. Um, 
<laughs> but um, I, I freaking love Majora's Mask, and I just I love that um, that repetition and figuring out the order of events. Um, you know, something that's never really resonated with me is uh, is, is procedural generation and stuff like that. You know, the whole it's different every time you play like that. that that doesn't really interest me. Like <laughs> I, I like a game to be what it is right? and to learn what to do within that. And, and Majora's mask, I think does that really well. But I, 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 I think of, uh, I, I, I think of that a lot with, with night trap and, and <laughs> you, really you love to bring it up. I think you brought it up with everybody. Games are true. I did bring it up with everyone because I was hoping that was going to like bring out an interesting response, like you know, uh, draw a comparison for you know uh, maybe games that have taken inspiration. I don't. I, it'd probably be silly to say Majora's Mask took inspiration from Night Trap, but you never know. It did. It got a Japanese release. That's, that's another one of yeah. my favorite parts of, of the documentary. Oh, is yeah. It, it, it was like that was like. 10 or 15 bucks too wasn't it the the japanese version that you got yeah and i think that john lemon told me that he just bought uh that's this there we go uh got a copy of it like like new old stock of the japanese version for 15 dollars today <laughs> I don't, awesome. I don't remember where he got it from, but he, you know, I think that it's it's available. Is it just like on e floating around eBay now? Maybe you we might want to talk. You might want to talk to him if you're interested in that kind of thing. I mean, it's just a really silly thing. I wonder how it sold. I mean, not the, well. Oh, the Japanese version. It couldn't have. But how more, how many Another thing made? that I think is really interesting about that Japanese about the Japanese version is that when you capture the augers, they uh, hang on. they make this like screaming sound, and it's only oh. in that version. Yeah, where they like it's pretty it's pretty cool. <laughs> did they uh, did they change anything else or just sound? Uh, just sound. That's so cool. I wonder where these people go. <laughs> when they get in these, get knocked on these traps. Oh. Well, someone's saying Dragon's Lair didn't make it to the Sega CD, did it? And it did. they bit, they bit, do says it did. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I knew that. Uh, the other thing in this episode that was kind of a uh, big surprise, I think, for people. Got to step on it. No, wrong one. Uh, is uh, the involvement of Jeremy Parrish? We yeah, we kind of kept it uh, kept him a secret. Yeah, I I, I thought that would be. A bit of a, uh, a, a just uh, seemed like a very unlikely thing. People be like, "What?" <laughs> but we, you know, something we were talking about um, uh, when we were making our our plans to fly to California. We were like, "Is there like a journalist out there? Someone we could we could talk to? You know, like and uh, you know, someone who would would." would have been at the time or known a lot about retro games. And then we're like, Oh wait, Jeremy Parrish lives like two and a half hours from me. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we asked him, he's like, he's like, uh, we're, we're like, you know, we're, 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 we're doing something on, on this game that people don't know exists yet. You know, would you be <laughs> interested when he found out it was night trap? He was like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, he was just able to provide a very good historical perspective, I think. Uh, you know, he was, you know, I, I see see his role in this is, you know, he played the role of the, the historian that right. is in any documentary ever, right? You know. <laughs> um, 
So I thought that was a lot of fun. I wonder if it's impossible to have like a perfect game on this. <laughs> Just knock that person out of the window. Kill them. Uh, so, uh, so I guess Tyler has made it public that, that Nintendo was going to, was thinking about it and then said no to, yeah, to not trap. I, I, I wasn't sure if that was public information. But, uh, oh man, that would have been, that was something like when you heard that that was looking like it might happen, you were so excited to put that in the documentary because you wanted to, you wanted to, I, I just yeah, watched there, that there, guy kick that chandelier and it was awesome. There exists a cut of the, of the documentary that has a whole, whole Switch segment in it. Oh, because you thought it was going to happen. Yeah, I, I uh, You let the suckers get to man. the power box. And now we're all but uh, what's that? Yeah, that's it, it's it, it would have been so funny, you know, to have that clip of of uh, uh, Howard Lincoln saying, "Yeah, it'll it'll never be on Nintendo system." Like that would have <laughs> just been that would have been just like an iconic moment. I feel in the documentary. Yes, and you know it's it's too bad that that is not happening because it was, it would have been such a, like it's like a built-in ad campaign. <laughs> for it, <laughs> let's try. It. I'm gonna try this one more time, and then I'm gonna move on to Warhead. You know, it would be hilarious. Is is it on? Uh, I wonder how, uh, how well it can be compressed to play on like 3ds. So that actually be a pretty good interface for it too. got Greg Seward in here saying my understanding is way before Howard Lincoln said that Nintendo was actually in talks with digital pictures to bring those games to the PlayStation. Yeah. Interesting. What? Man, I stink at this game. <laughs> I mean, but it seems like, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff happen, so yeah. it seems to me like you're playing a, a decent bit. I always get to the same spot and then die. Never know. You always miss something, and it just like shows. You see a little snippet of a clip. Really? Tyler says that Sewer Shark was going to be on Sega CD and Night Trap was going to be on, you know, Nintendo's system. Yeah. You know, that would be... That would be such an interesting change of events, like an alternate timeline to live <laughs> in, you know? And you know, it could have been a lot closer to happening than you think, you know? Yeah. This game, this game is very slapstick. It's pretty funny. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> like in some, like, in, like I feel like the individual scenes are more elaborate than Night Trap, but I feel like the overall structure is probably not as crazy. I don't know. What do you think? Do you no, think, do you I, think this that, is way harder than, than Night Trap. No, I mean, I, I'm just talking about like the structure of the game. Like, do you think, do you think the timeline, the, yeah, you know, the I, timeline that Jim Riley showed us, do you think the timeline for this game was as complicated? Uh, probably, I, I don't know. I don't know. It seems pretty complex in this.
I feel like you gotta you gotta understand what's going on better in this one. You gotta follow stuff a little closer. May I help? Yeah, I told her that that boy is just gonna be. Uh huh. Because you kind of gotta understand what uh, you got. You gotta know where people move around in the in the room. Their location. Oh, you can pause it. Yeah. You can a night trap also. You can pause it and choose the room you want oh, yeah. to go to. Now I know the oh, that's nice. Room, two, three, two. <laughs> Tyler is telling the whole... Uh, Nintendo story in the chat. He said he didn't sign NDA with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all out there now. Because <laughs> they offered to delay all versions of the game so they could launch simultaneous on Switch. Yeah, I mean, it would have been. The Switch would have been an awesome platform for it. Like, you know, like the touchscreen and everything would have been great. Oh, yeah. You're letting suckers get the upper hand. I understand. On, get with it, pal. I'm trying. See, that person walked right past the fireplace and you couldn't catch him. <laughs> you gotta memorize it a bit more. Um, oh, is this, who's this guy again? Come on, step on it. <laughs> uh, one thing that um, th there was a, 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 in a, a, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, but uh, there was a lot of reactions to uh, Jim Riley talking about Night Trap 2. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was like the big, I guess maybe we should clear it up a little bit. Uh, you know, like, I, I, I feel like that's what he would wants to happen if if uh, if this new version does well enough that they can, right. that they can fund it. It sounds like I mean, I, I tried to, to press him for more details. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was like, I said, so you have a pretty clear idea of what night trap two is and he just goes yep <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna hang on i'm gonna change change games okay um i don't think i mean night trap two uh from what he was uh kind of describing i mean it sounds like he would love to do night trap you know <laughs> Three and four and five and six, but I'm kind of under the impression it would be more like uh, what the original vision for the Halloween movie series was, where it was like a different horror theme every time. I think that's what he sees Night Trap as being. Uh, so I don't think it would necessarily be a continuation. Um, yeah, I think it would be very difficult to do a full-on continuation of the storyline at this point. And like a lot of the appeal of it is the fact that it was made when it was made. Right. So I could see something maybe uh, taking place in that world. Oh, look, this one's an MGM. It's got an MGM logo at the beginning here. So so this, this is Wirehead we're getting ready to play? Yes. But yeah, like, I, I think the thing to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, uh, People who are in the the movie business and the TV business, or oh, I, this I one think, has full very... screen FMV. 
Oh, whoa. That's that's intense. <laughs> but uh, I think people who are created in... by James Riley. Oh, man. <laughs> people who are in that business, I think, are a lot more willing to talk about things they want to do or are planning to do. You know, a lot of times I'm kind of used to uh, to game people who don't want to talk about what is going on. I don't on know, here. but it's amazing. <laughs> I have a feeling they, I think they could control their father with this remote control. <laughs> Maybe he's a robot. Because his name is Wyrick. He has, well, he has a wire on his head. <laughs> Dr. Slitcon? <laughs> They've tortured me. They've killed my nurse. And now they're after you. I escaped. But I don't know how long before they find me or you. I've got to go. I'll be getting in touch with you very soon. In the meantime, I've got someone watching over you with my controller. Oh, I'm watching over him. Good luck. Ned Hubbard? Yes. Ned Hubbard. My name is Frank Roth. This is my partner, Will Kramer. We're with the FBI. I'd like it if you'd come with us and answer a few questions, please. Why? About what? How much does this game sell no for? Deal, I feel like I want a real game copy. Questions about Dr. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. Written and directed by James Riley. Oh, wow. How did you know he disappeared? Adrenaline uh, surge I, detective. Hyperventilating. Remote control active. Uh, I have to go. Oh, wow. I can choose. Look, I can choose what directions I want to go. It's giving me options to go forward, left, or right. <laughs> That's intense. I wonder if it, has, if it plays out a certain way. Bad choice. It might have like branching paths. Oh, come on. So you gotta know where to go. Um, it looks like. Uh, buy it now. Complete copies are like forty, maybe a little less. No, it's it's pretty expensive actually. Then what? There's just the manual for eighteen. This is silly. Hope fades for wirehead. I'm gonna go up. Is it just? <laughs> this is. So wait, you you get to retry? Yes, it's letting me retry, but I'm losing my batteries. Oh. See, eventually it like narrows down your choices. Back so, in, so, so you can get through it for sure. Back in uh, nine four nine five, Jim Riley was was hoping people would call him up in twenty years and interview him about Wirehead. I know. Come here. You're killing me. <laughs> this is silly. I mean, this is like about as trial and error as you can get. There's like no like room for messing around this is like a like an faq game you just gotta like follow mm. the directions you don't you don't think there is like a uh no because there's only one right choice out of three every time so you it's don't like, think it you don't think it expands later it better 
I went from being like really into this to like not being too into this in record time. <laughs> I was like, oh, like wouldn't it be cool if you can go dr different directions and it kind of has slightly branching paths. But no, you just gotta memorize. Oh, I'm using it on the bike. I picked the right choice that time. That skateboard looks radioactive. Oh man, wood panel station wagon. <laughs> That's my style. Man. I, I love how goofy looking it is though. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow, you have to redo quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, now he's going with the skateboard this time. Because the bike didn't work. I wonder if I just like look it up. I could look it up. Oh, I, at least I get to continue there. Oh, so so the skateboard is the good option. Yes. Man, I, I I'm gonna see if I can just like look <laughs> like a, a wire head. FAQ, just to see. Or, or, do, you, do you want me to have it up and then tell yeah, you? Yeah, yes, yes, let's do it that way. Because then you can just tell me, like, this, you can tell me what each uh, thing is. Yeah, look up the stretch, you guys, so we can see uh, the whole thing. There was another one that, uh, that was going to be a game, but they ended up canceling it and they made a movie out of it. It was a TV movie. Oh? I can't think of what it was called, though. I'm sure someone in the there chat were, could, could You tell know, us. he mentioned something to us in the interview. I forget what it was. Well, there was one game, he said, that was completely shot, but, like, is never seen. Yeah, anything. he said it was like like, like... like like an Amazon woman, I remember him talking about. Yeah, he said it was like some sci-fi thing, wasn't it? Yeah. He said it was, like like, really, like, beautiful cinematography and... It was, it was like, you know, I almost want to think he said it was for like, didn't he almost say he was working on something for like Dreamcast or am I crazy? I don't think so. No, I, don't, I don't know about that. Maybe I'm making that up. Did you find it? Oh, there, there, well, it's interesting. There's, there's. There's like detailed breakdowns and like uh, like really just quick. There's like a quick ending, which has fewer instructions. <laughs> Look at that! Look at. <laughs> you seeing this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's using I a ramp as a as a parachute as glider. As a glider. <laughs> how did wait? How did that happen? How did you get there? No, it's just this is just a demo. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so are you the kids? No, I'm like someone who's watching over. You know what we do with hat rustlers? No. Does he go back in time? Old West. That's that's amazing. I don't think that's well, which uh, which which set of instructions do you want? Uh, how about the uh, like the there's quick... the scenic route. There's the scenic route and the quick end. Let's do the scenic route. Okay. okay. Uh, it starts off left, right, right, left, left. Okay, it says we left. You're gonna have to tell me. Okay. Okay, well, well, how long do you have to choose? Left. Hang on. I, I can probably remember. Right. Mm. 
Left, right, right, left, left. Yes. Okay, what's after that? Up, right, up. Okay. Give me three at a time. Okay. You, you just tell me when you need the next set. Okay, next set. Right, left, up. Okay. <laughs> the couch. Okay, next three. Down, right, right. Okay. <laughs> it's like, you know, like, this full screen video is like pretty impressive. It is. Oh, it kind of highlights certain things in the scene of where to go. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think the compression's just weird. Yeah. No, it's like on the plane. <laughs> He's lucky the plane is kind of empty. <laughs> I don't know what the story is at all, so. No. I, I, <laughs> so oh, he has a cell phone. Oh, no, it's like a, it's, it's a mobile phone. It's like a, a wired phone. On, it looks pretty high tech, though. Yeah. So you're still on down right, right? I'm waiting for that last right. I'll call you later. Excuse me, is that seat taken? Do you mind? No, not at all. <laughs> Testosterone surge detected. <laughs> Like a water buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the plane, so someone's about. gonna go crazy. What security's just called? They think we might have a murderer on board. <laughs> they think My he's a murderer. Mars, and yours? Ned Hubbard. Ned really? Hubbard. Man of Aren't action. He's the one that they call Wirehead. <laughs> I read about you in the papers. Oh, so Ned people Hubbard. know that he's Wirehead. Oh, he's like famous. Yeah, she's like, I is you're the one they are you the one they call Wirehead? I read about you in the paper. <laughs> Ned Hubbard. Let's hide in here. Okay, I'm ready for the next set now. Up, right, down. Up, right. He just jumped out of the plane. <laughs> you know, that must have been quite a scene to shoot. Yeah. Maybe it is upright well, down. I thought it was upright down. So is it? Maybe it is up. Uh, Maybe I gotta hit. Maybe I hit the wrong thing. Hey, you're good. <laughs> Waterfall. So I'm gonna try it.
Oh, it is right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you gotta help me! Come on! <laughs> I can see this one having like a pretty big budget. Yeah. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, next set. Right, left, A. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. He tore off his sweater vest. <laughs> This must be where he runs into the bar. Wait, did he end up in the Old West somehow? His location is unknown. Uh-oh. Warning, arrest warrant filed. Going offline. It's right, left, A, right? Yes. Bubba's Bacon Ride, ten dollars, ten cents maybe. It was Bubba's Bacon Ride. <laughs> I wonder if this game is pretty long. It seems like it'd be pretty long. It's not progressing super fast. I mean, it it's really a movie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There's chickens in there. Howdy. Nice hat. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Oh, a store. General store. <laughs> it's familiar to me. Sure does. Oh, yeah. Sure does. Sure does. M O O S E. Moose. That's my hat. You know what we do with hat rustlers? <laughs> no. I punch him. Okay, I'm ready. A right, right. Oh. It happens so quick. Hopefully, I get the start. Let's see what happens here. It's two A's and then right, right. What is, what is this now? Wait, maybe you progressed. No, I said this. Good morning, Sheriff. I'm Mara. Oh, you know, it's possible that we might be on a different sequence now. Your prisoner here is accused of killing a man that he didn't kill. Okay, and the I'm in the... killers are, in fact, on their way here this minute to kill him. Is there anything about a prison? Been in prison? Oh, Sheriff, you just don't understand. These men are... Okay, I took the image uh -huh. but went to the next scene. So is it going to be what, what was the after the second A? Uh, well, right. the, that might have been part of the fight. So I have no idea now. All, all I'm looking at is a list, a linear list of instructions with no details. Okay. So. I don't know if I can help you much at this point. <laughs> then we'll find out. Ask dehydrated. Excuse me, gentlemen. If we can figure out what the next input is. He's going to die of dehydration. Then we'll then we'll know. Yeah, what? He's going to die of thirst. Please do something for him. Oh hell, deputy. Get him a drink. Everything was going so good too. Sigma wheels. Get ready. She's do that if I were you, little lady. You open the gun on the cops. Right now or I'm gonna blow your head off. Why she want to get you out? Okay, so I'm saying I gotta press right next. Do it. Press R. So we're gonna find out what happens. Well, if it's right, right up. Come on, both of you, move. 
okay. then we might be on track. We'll see. Okay. Well, right was definitely correct. And we might be, we might be in for it. This might be working. Right, right, up. Mm -hmm. Was correct. Right, left, left. Okay. Right. We're taking the jeep. This entire movie is shot handheld, I think. That's impressive. It's cheaper that way. <laughs> okay. It's okay, right, left, left. Go right. Okay. Up, right, left. Oh. What? What was it? Up. Up, right, left. Which way? No, you're going to have to redo some, though. Yeah, so it was a left, or I mean right. Right, left, left. Okay. When Up, I, okay. right. Okay, so what was it here? Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to get back in the Jeep. So it's right... <laughs> Left, left. Left, left. And then what? Up, right, left. Okay. Right, left, left. Right, left, left, then up. I told you to go right, back, right left. Go. Up, right, left. Okay. Left, left, Are right. To get up, right, left? Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. There's another call. Go left. Left. She's telling me what to do. But still. Okay, so what's next? Oh, left, left, right. a circle. Left, left, right? Left, left, right. Okay, I'm waiting on the right now. What's the one after the right? Up, left, up. Up, left, up? Up, left, up. <laughs> I think we lost him. Yeah. <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was up, left, left. You say that it was, it was up, up, left, up. Up, left, up. Okay, so it's gonna be left, up. I meant the left, up. Oh, has my friend been taking care of you? What is going on? Wait, doctor? what? Why are these people You're left up. Me? Yes. You okay. Well, re remember the next set. It's left, up, left. I reconnected your brain with electrodes. Can you remember that? Can I remember? Okay, so I'm gonna go left, up, left, right. It, 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 including your last left. Okay. For the previous set, so left, up, left. Okay. That'll make it easy because it puts me at the end of a row. Good. How far into this into this are we? Um, between a quarter and a third, I'd say. Jeez. Well, that's great. I'm already kind of over it. How are they finding him so much? So I'm going left, up, left, right? 
Left up, up left. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's gonna. She got a machine gun. So I'm waiting on that la last left. What okay. Is, what is what is after that? After that last left. Right, left, left. Left, right, left, left. Okay. <laughs> left. Right. And then left, left. Left, left, A. Oh. <laughs> like, maybe not. Whew. Everyone got blown up there. No oh, way, but it looks like you're continuing. I guess so. I don't know where we are now. So it's then. gonna be. It's, I guess it's gonna be A. It's gonna be the next hey, one. Flip guy, look, I delivered the Maybe. Payday, huh? I think it is. We'll Bring find it. out. If it's not A, what would it be? What's the one after A? Right, right, left. Okay. It's gonna be either A or right. <laughs> Max on mushroom is like. Nice, it's a brain. Come on, let's get this thing over with. <laughs> All in good time, my dear. Brain surgery is one thing. Knowledge extraction quite another. <laughs> He's gonna eat his brain and gain his right knowledge. Doctor, Rosa. You will learn nothing from us, you filthy butcher. <laughs> we'll see. Put him on the table. It's gonna be A, a or right? A. Was yep. it A? Yeah. Okay, so right, right, left. Stop okay. him! Don't let him get away! Stop! Call them out as you do them. Right. So I, I... Okay. I said right. So it's gonna be right, right, left? Mm-hmm. Right. Left. Left, up, up. Okay. Left. A left. A left. A? Then give me an option. Oh, geez. Okay, what's after A? Left. Jeez, he like punched her and she went flying up. Oh, left, please, I hit it, okay. Left, left, right. Left, left, right, okay. After that, A left, it's left, left, right. Okay. Left, it's left, left, right. Left, left, right. Left. Right. Left, right, right. 
Left, right, right. Left. Right. Right. Left, up, up. Okay. Left. <laughs> They're killing everybody. Um, I saw Dr. Tyler was Ohar, mentioning why? that he has an idea I for uh, for Night Chap guy. 2. He he's going to be talking to James Riley about it. Yeah, shortly. that's exciting. Um, he kind of like told me a little bit of what it, what it was. It's 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 pretty it's pretty cool, cool. I think. Hmm. What what are we on in this? Up up I think. Taking your family hostage. Okay. He wants Dr. Ohan the first up. It's three rights after that. I'll give them what they okay. want. Up, they up, right, right, right. Yep. Are you crazy? Cool. Do you really think that SlickCon is just going to say, oh, thank you very much, and let you walk away? <sighs> no, he's going to kill you, and you, and anybody that knows anything about this operation. We're, we're actually probably, like, past halfway now. Really? At least in terms of inputs, yeah. Like, we, we kind of sped ahead. My family. Through all that driving and stuff. All right, Sam told me where they are. You and I will go to the shipyard and rescue your family. Dr. Oha. Oh, his family has been kidnapped. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know why they want Wirehead. After I beat this, I'll play. I saw somebody asking for. Final Fight. I think I'll play a little Final Fight after this. Even though it's not FMV, still in the Sega CD. Still relevant. If I can beat this game. <laughs> CGQ wants to send you $50. Please respond. Hi. <laughs> I'm responding. We got it. I so it's my dream. So hang on, let me pause this really quick. It's I since uh, since Chris uh, CGQ is here. It's my dream to have to do a live stream with him and uh, Greg Stewart, and we like look through old issues of EGM. Because <laughs> because Chris does a really really awesome series on his channel called Let's Read. Just did a really, really, a really great one on uh, when he read through the uh, first issue of Nintendo Power. Oh wow! I, you know, I, I got some when I was on vacation earlier this summer. I, I got like maybe five or six Nintendo Powers, and uh, I, 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 I mean, I've been mean to go through them because you know they'll only be useful in the future if I know what's in them. <laughs> So I need to read them. <laughs> okay, I'm at the start of the right, right, right. Okay. So how many rights do you have left? None. I mean, all of them. I have all of them. Left, so. okay. I, I, I put in none of them. Okay. So you, the last thing you did was up, up. Right. That's like become a joke between me and my coworkers. Right, right, right. Because we've like... <laughs> Like, it's like this phrase that's, like, spread among our department. Is we just go, uh-huh, uh-huh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's it's contagious. I've got one right left. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what's after the, th okay, all the rights are done. What's next? Left, right, right. Okay. It's actually three rights. Left, right, right, right. I'll give wait, you wait, four wait, 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 it's okay, so it's left, right, right, right? Yes. Okay. One left and then three rights again. Okay. Left. So you're getting ready for the rights? Yeah. 
Right. Right. I, okay. Okay. So there should be one more. Or right, what's that to the third right? Left. Left. Right. Okay. What is it? Left. Right. 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 What is it? Left. 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 Right. Left. Left. Right. Okay. Oh, I must have missed one. Oh, I, hope, I don't know. Hang on. Let's see if we can do the third one here. I think I messed up. I messed up. Hopefully, it's just right. Do you know where we are now? Well, I think it's the first right. So there should be one more. No? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's the thir three rights in a row. Wow. It sent me back really far. Okay. So you're, you're, you're back to the first of three rights. I think so. Yeah. Okay. That little rat's starting to get me. When I get my hands on that little freak, I'm personally going to rip his eyes out. I'm going to take that wire. <laughs> hey, you watch me. Okay, I've done three rights in a row. Now what is it? Left. Left, left, right. Left. Okay. Be careful. They're all over the place. That was too close, man. All right. This way. Left. What? Uh-oh. Are, are we out of sync? Yes. Uh oh. There's three rights in a row. <sighs> oh man, I don't even know where I am. Oh oh oh! If there's three, there's there's like two series of three rights. Okay, well they're just getting to the boat now. I gotta do the whole boat thing again. What? What was the first thing in the boat? I don't remember. What was it like the ups? Maybe. It was. It was either the ups or the three right, or the, the there's two sets of three rights. Okay. So. Oh wait. So I'm gonna do do three rights in a row. Okay, can you pause? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you've done there there's two ups and you may have already done those. Then there's a right 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 and then there's a left and then there, there there's another right right right. Okay. So I just did first I just did a right and it was correct. Okay, so there might be two more and then followed by a left. Okay. Right. I think we're on track now. Okay, tell me when you've done the last ride. Okay. When I get my hands on that little freak, I'm personally gonna rip his eyes out. I'm gonna take that You've just done two so far? Yes, hey, I'm about to do the, the third right. Okay, I've done, so it's gonna go left, then right, right, left, right. Left, and then three more rides. Okay. Oh. So call out each one as you do them. No, it's not letting me. Careful. They're all over the place. So left. So it's going to be right, right, right. Right, right, right. This way. Right. Oh, there you go. So it's going to be three rights in a row. That one's after the third right. Left, left, right. Call him out. Okay. Right.
No. What? I don't know. <laughs> it's the scene is so long. So I'm gonna go right, right, right. Well, if you, it's possible you're you're on the second set of rides. Okay, so it's after the second. Okay, so if you're if you're on the second set of rides, then it would be right, 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 left, left, right. Okay, so right, right, right. <laughs> right, 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 left, right. L uh, uh, right, 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 left, left, right. Okay. I'm gonna take that wire. Hey, you watch me. So right. Now I'm gonna go left, left, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It won't let me do it. So it's so okay. So maybe it's it's here. No, it's not gonna let me do it here either. All right, this way. It's not letting me go right or left. It's forcing me to go right. Did you do one left? No. You so had no lefts. Hang on, I didn't. I find out what happens here. I just went right, and now I'm about to do something else here. I went right, then left. The all, all, I can tell you there are no ups for a long time. I just hit up when you said up, and that was going to kill me. It's like nothing but lefts and rights for a long time. This is This is excruciating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do what it says here. Oh, I see a lot of people. Some people talking about the at games Genesis flashback. That's the HDMI. I think we got a comment saying or a, a tweet saying like, "Are you are we gonna look at one?" Um, mm. But we didn't. I mean, a lot of people have them, but. Where we are not on that list. We're not really on any lists, now that I think about it. Like, we we never get... I mean, I guess we got the analog early. But that's, like, the only time in, in the AVS. Well, AVS, maybe we got that a little bit early. But, like, these kind of mass-produced things. Right. You know, it would have been awesome to, like, get to look at the an SA, Super NES Classic early. But I don't think that's going to happen either. I'm just, I'm just going. So it's gonna be right. Careful. I've just done a lot of rights here. Careful. Yeah. All I can say is that 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 up is not valid anytime soon. Okay. Follow me. So it's right, right, left. This is gonna be left right here. Right, right, left. my last life too I think so left now I'm gonna go up the stairs so it's like right right left left is what I just did right right oh okay then it might be right left left okay so I'm gonna go right see if this works left oh well, it might be maybe not Nope. Ah. Uh, Bad decisions lead to family suicide. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Harsh. Man. Bad decisions. <laughs> well, we made bad decisions trying to follow this game fact, I guess. Well, Man. it got us further than we would have gotten otherwise. That's for sure. <laughs> that's. I, I, I just want to go on YouTube and watch that now, though. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what happens. 
Um, should I just like pick something? Should I, I'll go, I'll go in the other room and pick something. Like yeah. I mean, it could be a, you could play time gal or something. Yeah. I, you know, I could play sewer shark. Oh yeah. I've never, I, I know nothing about sewer shark. I kind of like sewer shark. A lot of people really hate sewer shark. I kind of like Well, you know, sewer shark is a cheap Sega CD game. So I feel like I need to be informed about it yeah, because you, you maybe like I'll, it. maybe, maybe I want sewer shark. Yeah. Hang on. I'll, I'll go and grab it. Uh, uh, you know, uh, classic gaming quarterly. I, I, I might have heard about about Night Trap. I might, I might have been involved with the documentary on. I just, I can't, I can't quite remember. You know, the other option was that we could play the, the Japanese version of Night Trap. Oh, well, I, I do want to see Sewer Shark, though. OK, let me put it in. I do want to see it. Okay. But Japanese Night Trap is tempting. Maybe maybe, maybe some other time. Maybe when uh, maybe when Tyler's over there. You know, the, the unfortunate thing is that we're, we're actually going to be flying back. Um, we're going to be flying back from Missouri Game Con uh, the Sunday following the um, following the limited run release, but it won't be available digitally uh, for another few days. Huh? Oh, you mean... Night Trap in general, yeah. Right, right, right. The limited run happens um, several days before the digital release. But what I was going to say is the... Um, the Oh, Sony, Sony yeah, Image yeah, Soft. So, huh? uh, Sony owns this. Um, so unless this game will not see a re-release unless Sony does it. Really? They yeah. still own it? Yeah. Interesting. A Hasbro production. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, John Dykstra d directed this, and he is a uh, pretty uh, famous visual effects guy. Uh, that name does sound familiar. Yeah, the, the effects are pretty good in this. I think this is, you know, it's a pretty cool. Uh, like, it's just like, it's like acted a lot better. Acted a lot better? Yeah, the acting's a lot better in this. And the effects are a lot better. You know, it, it very much has like that, you know, like everything was done uh, with real props. Mm. You know, you'll see like this kind of floating uh, machine in a little bit. And, you know, you can tell that it's like really there. I would love to see the raw footage of this stuff. Well, who knows? Maybe after Night Trap, Sony will be interested. Yeah. Tyler nice. will have to. Tyler needs to talk to him. Yeah. See why you can't hear this. I love this guy. I always come back for more. What's his name? I forgot his name. So what are you doing? Is this just a, a Road Avenger style or, or what? Well, what you got to you got to listen to to. Uh, uh, directions, but you also shoot stuff. Oh, okay. Your your ship is called the Whole Hog. The Whole Hog? Yeah. <laughs> so so what are you? You're dog me. You're the uh, the guy who's uh, shooting and driving the. The whole hog. Dog meat. All right. Are, are you a sewer shark? Well, it's just, I mean, I guess. See, look, you'll see this thing uh, flying around here in a second. And you can tell it's, you know, it's like really built. And it's like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real prop. Crash and burn. The sewer jockeys come and 
and they go. But down here, I mean, I was kind of hoping there might be a shark in the sewer. No, no, that's that's a little bit disappointing. A boss and a reason to live. You're gonna owe me big dog meat. Dog meat. Steak. You, gotta, you gotta deliver a million pounds of tube steak. <laughs> tube steak? Yep. Is by, by this like shooting, the post apocalypse? Rats. Oh yeah. Yep. Maybe you're good enough, dog meat. Let's find out. I'm your backseat disc trip, so don't screw up, huh? Hey, Captain. See, so you can tell if that's like. Good. A good effect, I think. Catfish, pilot accident file, access, run data, evaluate. Oh, well, uh, 12 pilots to meet. And this was a pack in for the Sega CD for some time, right? Uh, yeah, more like the Model 2, I think. A a Am I crazy for thinking that that floating yeah, thing looks like Sonic? Like, like, like that. Thing looks I like can see that, just... like the nose. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> so that's your ship, just this weird ball. No, 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 no. That that's uh, that's, that's catfish. He's your like, he's your guide. Oh, okay. I, see, a lot is lost without not hearing the audio. I can't, I can't make heads or tails of what's going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> It's like one or of my Sonic or Tails. It's one of my favorite lines though, is when he's like, Alright, we're ready to go. We're ready to launch on three. Three. <laughs> he doesn't count it down or anything, he just says starts with three. <laughs> Pretend it's a gay. Maybe it'll even be fun. Shake the tubes, dog meat! Uh, catfish the ghost, we got a target acquisition down here. So it's a radigator. So Radigator? Yeah. The critter's at six twelve niner. Six twelve niner. So you have to you have to hit every single thing or else you fail. Right. Yeah, this is actually like kinda of smooth looking. Yeah, right? Six twelve niner. <laughs> so was uh, Jim Riley and Tom Zito and those guys involved with this, or? Um, I don't know, like what, how involved in this they were. But di digital pictures or the people of digital pictures had. I don't know if digital pictures was formed yet. Well, no, this was, was shot. It? This was shot at the same time as Night Trap was. Right. Okay. Originally. Does this have you kind of interested a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks fun. Can you use a light gun with it? No. no. Are we just shooting stuff? Well, then you, you, you go the directions he tells you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't... You, there, there's no guesswork as to which direction you need to go? Right. Well, how do you change directions? Because you have to aim the cursor, too. Oh, I missed it. I'm off course. He tells you, he tells you like the direction to go. And you, you hold down B and you press the direction when the, when the, uh. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So up. if you aren't holding a, a button, then you're, you're free aiming. Right. And then what button shoots? A. I mean, this, this game is really, really cheap. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, I, mean, I feel like I'd like this. <laughs> I mean, I, 
I like FMV games and I like shooting stuff, you know? Yeah. So. I feel like this one is another one that's like kind of unfairly hated on. But I mean, it is, it's very smooth, you know? Like it looks. Yeah, I think it looks good. 3, 12, 9, or 12. So it's gonna be 3. So it's gonna be. Like, are, are these tunnels? Oh. Um. Film, oh, do you uh, think? Like, are these sets? You, you, I mean, it's, it's probably, probably miniatures, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, they don't, I mean, it doesn't look like computer generated. It looks too good for that. Yeah, well, I mean, this is 87, so it was like definitely not. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what true. I meant. It's like the effects are pretty, pretty decent, you know, like they're, they're practical effects. I died. So, so you died. How many lives did you have? I think you just have one to make it through the whole thing. Really? Yeah. How long is? It? It's not long, but it's it's definitely different every time you play. He gives you different oh. directions every time you play. Oh, interesting. So somehow they make it so that those tunnels like they just repeat. Right, but it, it's like seamless though. Yes. That which is kind of cool. All right, so there's been a lot of people asking me to play Final Fight CD, so I got we got 12 more minutes left. I'll play Final Fight CD. All right. You should you should go on eBay and buy this right now. <laughs> you know, in a way, Final Fight CD is the origin to this whole episode. Oh, John Dijkstra did the stop motion effects in Star Wars, huh? I didn't, for some reason, I didn't think Star Wars had any stop motion effects. I thought it was all uh, camera moving in relation to the models. So is there, is there anybody in the chat who is never, is just a new subscriber, has never been to the uh, live stream before? Because uh, I was uh, I was saying that in a lot of ways, Final Fight CD is the origin of this episode. Yes, that's that's very appropriate. Yes. <laughs> How funny, right? Mike Mike Hager here. All right. Who do you want me to be? I, I I'm I'm not a Final Fight guy, so. I mean, I always want to be guy. I, you know, I want to be Cody this time. This game has a really good soundtrack in it. This version of the game. Now, but don't people criticize the colors in this version? Yes, but there is a uh, a palette fix for it, a, a color fix. Hack. Right. I don't really have a problem with it. I think it looks a lot better than the than the Super Nintendo version. The animation is really smooth. Well, animation doesn't look that smooth. <laughs> oh, the walking animation is. That's, that's not why, bad. Why, look, look how, that's pretty smooth. I, I feel like I should get a this, version of Final Fight some, this someday. Is, this is the version to have. This one's a little expensive, it, though. Is it expensive? I, mean, I don't want to get an expensive version. Well, I mean, I have a disc only. I, it's so stupid. I used to have a uh, two two complete in box versions of it. Let now, me it, let me it's, look it's up how much. It's expensive. Like, uh, it's, it's like a complete in box. I think it's like a hundred dollars. Well, here, here's a disc only, which, you know, as you know, I've, I've ended up being disc only for Sega CD. Yeah. Uh, disc only 33. That's good. This is this is the version they have. But uh, let, let's uh, let's check out how much the SNES version is. Oh, it's going to be like five bucks. Right. But this is it's a clearly superior version and it's two players simultaneous. So oh, it, the, the the Super Nintendo version isn't two player. Oh, that was, it was very 
widely like that's the reason it people rag on it so hard oh well, then there's like no like that's literally the only reason i would even consider getting the game was was For, to do two player yeah i mean this is this is uh, uh, the only two player version i mean if unless you get like the one the psn version or something mm -hmm. you know it's not the the super uh, the super nintendo version is not as cheap as i expected i mean it's it's like 15 bucks but i mean i'm not seeing uh, here's a couple of ten. I thought it'd be like under ten, though. Uh, that's ridiculous, though. That's not two player. Do, do I well, mean? It's a I know. Game. All... It was, it was... Uh, I know. It, all... it had a lot of. Uh... It would give it a lot of flack because of that. I mean, that was. A, oh, was a you, big... you 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 were uh, you recover health uh, by eating uh, street... meat. Yeah, street meat. <laughs> street meat. <laughs> uh, no, street meat's like actually like a real term. I used to get street meat all the time in, in New York. But, uh, I mean, I, you know, I really enjoyed co-oping the Streets of Rage games. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's not as robust as, uh, especially Streets of Rage 2. It's more akin to uh, Streets of Rage 1. Mm -hmm. And then it's a bit I mean, more limited. But the sprites are huge. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it doesn't look as good to me as even Streets of Rage 1, to tell the truth. Well, yeah, I mean, Streets of Rage 1 was done, at, uh, you know, it was a reaction to this game and the fact mm. that the, that the uh, Super Nintendo had, had this game. But it doesn't look yeah. as good, but the... But the, but the, and the, the Sprites are so much bigger than Streets of Rage, especially than the first one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if bigger sprites is necessarily a huge plus. You know, I played um, uh, Streets of Rage three, the the you know the Japanese version, which is you know not that hard, and uh, <laughs> we got we got we got the best ending our first try, and we didn't even know how to get the best ending. We just lucked into it. Is it was, that something like fun. if you saw it for the right price, would you, would you buy it or no? Uh, yes. I don't know if I would buy the American version, but I would buy the Japanese version for the right price, or I guess the European version maybe because it doesn't it include NTSC speeds on the same cart. The what? I'm not sure. The the European version. Oh, I don't know. I think you can. Well, but I'm not sure if my Genesis does region, if the region uh, unlock is for PAL is, or this, not. The song that's playing right now is like the best version of this song. But, um... <sighs> but, um... Yeah, I mean, if I would definitely consider getting the Japanese version of uh, Streets of Rage 3 for the right price, but it's, I mean, it's pretty expensive. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was fun. You know, it's something I really liked about it. Um, it's got, uh, you know, I, I think I've complained about on, on, on our stream before about how annoyed I am by the concept of sacrificing health to use a super move oh, this, and uh the final fight does it not even not even a super move just just a, a stronger attack i, I really don't like well, this that. uses you know it's it clears out enemies from around you it's a big well like a i mean that's that i mean if it's if it's some big deal like that that's that's one thing but oftentimes it's just a slightly stronger attack and it is not worth sacrificing health for so it's like you may as well not even have it in my opinion <laughs> but um but uh, what I was saying was, in Streets of Rage 3, they've got this cool thing where um, there's a cooldown. Right, it has like that charge bar, right? Right, so when that's full, and it charges pretty quick, when that's full, you can you can use your, your, um, your stronger attack without losing any health. But you can use it any time, but you, could, you lose health if it's not, if the cooldown isn't So it's charged. kind of a... You, That's a great compromise, I think. Yeah. 
So I, I really enjoyed that part. There's some weird levels in it. Um, like there was this level like on, on some like train tracks that was pretty annoying. Um, but but overall, I, I thought it was uh, that was pretty good, actually. At, le at least the Japanese version was pretty good. <laughs> I used to listen to this game soundtrack all the time, just by putting the uh, the CD into my CD player and just playing mm -hmm. the Red Book audio. I kind of talked about that in this upcoming episode for a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that we're we're working on an episode about um, soundtracks, like not about not really about the music so much, but the the physical you know soundtracks. Yeah, it's kind of um, I think it's kind of a lot of the appeal that our VHS episode had. Right, where it's just kind of like you know looking at a bunch of bunch of these things that are out there, that, these things that exist. Yeah. Um. And uh, and so that you know I'm I'm pretty far along in that, uh, and we're going to uh, plan to release that uh, two Fridays the from 11th. this past Friday. Yeah, the eleventh, the day we fly out to Missouri. Yeah. These guys can't get near me. Look at him. Oh, that guy got near. Ooh, I had some sushi that gave me full health. And what's coming after that? I don't know. I'm gonna do a smaller episode. Yeah, you'll do a smaller episode, and I'll I'll go full on into uh, PS2. PS2 RGB, which I I, I started writing the script. I saw yeah, I, I saw that in the drop in the uh, in the Google Drive. How far along are you in it? Um, like I've done the intro. I've like done the basics of the capabilities. I've gone over resolution stuff. Um, and then it's gonna be video cables. Um, and I, I haven't quite exactly decided what the order of things is going to be from there, but yeah, uh, I, th there's a number of things I still need to research. And test. That's going to be a, it's going to be a big hit. I think that episode. Yeah. Uh, speaking yeah. of PlayStation though. The PlayStation episode has finally surpassed the uh, N64 anti-aliasing. Yes, which, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> For our most viewed episode. But, you yeah, know, I, I think... Mean, the game, I, the game, game Boy's not going to take too long to no, catch up. Now. I think the Game Boy's going to catch up and it's going to pass it, pass it, I bet. I mean, yeah. it's getting right around double the amount of views regularly as the... As yeah. the PlayStation episode is regularly the Game Boy video is like regularly our most viewed video unless there has just been a new release like it's it's the video that's always getting uh, new views yeah it's it feels good to they have the anti-aliasing that be like our biggest video <laughs> yeah because that that wasn't even an important video that was just like something we were doing because you know people people were like oh did, did you did you hear that that the that the, the, you can you can do the same thing that the the hdmi mod does with a game shark and i'm like no <laughs> it's 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 different They do different things. Yeah, I just if it feels good to have that not be the the big one. Popular stream tonight. I was not expecting this many people. Oh, it's this, it's oh my god. <laughs> what? So this guy comes in after you beat up this car in this part. Uh, the owner of the car comes in and he's like, he goes, oh, my car. 
but the uh, but the sound uh, the sound sample of it in the the Super Nintendo version is like cuts off the end. So he's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> Says Japan on it. What the heck? Am I not gonna get to do it? I didn't finish it, so we're not gonna say. Oh, maybe we'll do it. Here he is. Oh, we didn't even say it. Oh Aww. my god. He might say, <laughs> he might say oh my god in the in the arcade version, but he just goes oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know if you know this, but the but the Final Fight games take place in the Street Fighter universe. Yeah, I, I knew that. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you're on like involved. I mean, in I mean it. You're, you're 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 right to 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 not assume that I know terribly much about the Street Fighter universe, but uh, I was I was aware of that much. I mean. Hagar is in the, some of the Street Fighter games, right? Um, not in not in the Street Fighter games. No, he's in Marvel vs. Capcom three and the upcoming one. But uh, ah, he is in a game called Saturday Night Slam Masters, which I think Zang is Zangief in Saturday Night Slam Masters? I don't know. But Saturday Night, Saturday Night Slam Masters is a wrestling game that also takes place in that in that universe. For some reason, I thought the, the, the core Street Fighter cast, at least some of them had, or excuse me, Final Fight cast, for some reason, I thought some of them were, were in the Street Fighter games. Yeah, well, and started with Street Fighter Alpha, and then Street Fighter 4 has, has a bunch of them. Well, it has Cody and Guy, for sure. Those people sitting at the table look really small. Yeah, they, well, they're in the background. They just don't care yeah, if this but... is happening. <laughs> this guy's he's killing people. Look how small Hagar's head is. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's like drawn wrong or if it's just because it's almost com comical i mean the stuff he's, he's this just he's just so big though i guess this this game's i don't know i i feel like it lacks style especially compared to streets of rage but it, it came out like way before streets of rage yeah this came out in 1989 the year that the genesis came I think it but was what eight. year did this version come out? Uh, this one was probably like '93. Yeah, Morgan has says '93. Unless Streets of Rage was in, Streets of Rage was in '93. Streets of Rage was like '90. Is it? It was the uh, the Streets of Rage was like supposed to be the final fight killer. I mean, just from watching it, I feel like it is a Final Fight killer. But Streets of Rage? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see that. I mean, there's like there's a lot more gameplay in, in Streets of Rage. I mean, I, I am not but a only big because this, this laid the foundation for them to improve upon it. Yeah. I mean, I, I am not a big brawler fan, but I was surprised how much I enjoyed the Streets of Rage games. I, I, I enjoyed them way more than I thought I would. Yeah. Yeah, Street Rage came out in 1991. So it was this was two years before. I mean, the arcade version was two years before. You know, I was I was really jealous of your your pickup at uh, too many games where you got um, you got Streets of Rage one complete right for twenty bucks. Yeah, really good shape because you know I kind of it's like it's I like kinda, it has manual and everything. I thought I it was know, like. like it's just like a good deal. I mean, it was like, I, I think it was $20 because I got it pretty much right after I, yeah. as soon as like the doors opened. 
because I've got I've got card only for that, and I kind I kind of forgot that I had card only for that. And then after you were like, I'm going to buy this, I was kind of like, dang it, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been after it for a little while. Yeah, but everywhere else it was like thirty, and I'm like, I, I can't I can't pay thirty dollars when I. <laughs> You know, I, I already have the game, but I I got these like Oh well, I bought um I bought just like empty Genesis boxes for the three card only games that I have. And then I bought um uh, I bought some just like generic universal cases for the um the power base mini and uh, that EverDrive that you gave me. Right. But I never like got around to like making any sort of like print out for any of those cases. But the the, the card only games I have are um, are uh, Streets of Rage One, Toe Jam and Earl, and Hyperstone Heist. Toe Jam and Earl is a good game too. Yeah. I, I that was another game I liked a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, uh, I was gonna say something. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh well. Toe Jam and Earl completes kind of expensive now too. Yeah, I didn't. So the uh, their Kickstarter game is coming out pretty soon. Maybe I don't know. It might be coming out pretty soon. So this oh. level, I'm, the level I'm playing right here is not in the Super Nintendo game. So the Super oh. Nintendo is also missing this level. Interesting. Another reason that if you're going to get one, you should get this version. So, so wait, I thought I thought there was a failed Toe Jam and Earl Kickstarter. I guess it got fun. I thought it was failed too, but it actually did get funded. Unless they did another funding method. I, I, I'm so sure that failed. What? I, I, I was so sure that it failed. I know there's a Kickstarter by the person who made Echo the Dolphin that failed. Oh. Um, but I, I still thought I was so sure that the Toe Jam and Earl Kickstarter failed. Now, well, I don't know much about the Xbox Toe Jam and Earl. What is so bad about that one? I don't know, but, you know, I almost bought it at too many games because how bad could it be? <laughs> how bad could it be? You know, I I, I kind of want to get Toe Jam and Earl 2 sometime. I mean, it can't be. I mean, it's got real, a really good graphics, I think. Like, what? I really just enjoy the style of Toe Jam and Earl 2. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you you like have the, the, you the, have the second one, or you want to get? The no, second I one? don't. But I I I I mean, I just like the character style is just like really cool looking. Yeah. Um, I mean, it can't be that bad of a game. I think it's just one of those situations where people are disappointed because it's so different from the first. Okay, so it looks like Toe Jam and Earl failed to get its extended tiers, so it's not coming any coming to any consoles. Oh. Uh, that's a bummer. But well, I'm sure know, they'll find a way to make does that happen. Well, it, yeah, if it does well, but, you know, they they could always make the ports happen. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to see them making it if, it, if the Kickstarter fa failed. It had a really weird kind of, like, paper cutout style to it. Yeah, is that what it looks like now? Oh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't been I, following it at all. Oh wait, Half MDE Tank says Adult Swim picked it up, so it is coming to every console. Oh, so so maybe it's looking good. I don't know. Let me let me let me look it up. Is it just called Toe Jam and Earl Four or what? Um, I don't know. I just I was just looking at it the other day. Oh, the, is it back in the back in the groove? That's it. Here's the Steam listing for it. Oh, so it's got to be close. It has a Steam well, listing. 
This this looks a lot like the first game. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of old, uh... it actually looks pretty good. Like yeah. it's it's very faithful to the original game. It looks like. Oh, I, I remember I was gonna say I was gonna say something about Wonder Boy. I was gonna say like right now like my Genesis Holy Grail. I don't know if what we were talking about earlier about Genesis games. Like the only Genesis thing I'm like really after right now is a manual for Wonder Boy and <laughs> Monster World. I constantly am looking for it. You know, I don't I don't let me check if mine has one. I don't think it does actually. Because I really wanna have a manual for that game. I really wanna complete my copy. I, I never, I never really thought of that. Yeah, I don't have a manual either. I bought. Well, that's right. I remember now. Because I bought my Wonder Boy and Monster World uh, card only, and I bought the box for it like a, maybe a year ago. I have no did, idea did what you to buy expect a real, out you, the manual. real box from it. Yeah, it's a, it's a real box. It's definitely a real box. But I'm, every time I go someplace that has like a bin of of manuals, I'm always looking for that one. <laughs> now you're making me want to look at my Monster World for me. <laughs> look at that. You know that the, the uh, limited runs Dragon's Trap limited edition goes on sale this Friday. I was saying earlier today. I won't yeah, play. I'm I'm definitely buying that. Yeah, I, I mean if I it has a soundtrack and everything. If I cannot if I don't get the limited edition of that, like I'm gonna die. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't usually buy limited editions, but... Oh, yeah, me neither. But I really want... I, I agree, I want that pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to, though. This, uh, my Monster World 4 actually has a, has a, a registration card in it. Oh man, the manual's got like, you know, the, the like the clay style character art. I don't know if I've really looked looked at this one. Oh, the manual before. does too? Yeah, but it's also got like a lot of hand drawn character artwork. There's like a lot of different there's like a lot of different styles in it. Man, what a good game. Yeah, you know, Whoever you know, did some sort of I'll... marathon, we should like we should marathon, like all of Monster World. All of Monster, like, like all the games. You mean? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean at least like Monster Land, and then like Dragon's Curse, or or a version of it. It could be the new Dragon's Trap, right? And then Born Boy Monster World, and then Monster World Four. Man, there's a ton of really good artwork in this manual. Hey, so you haven't looked through it? I don't remember looking through it. I'm surprised. It's like great. This is a good condition copy too. And it was it was less than the going price at the time. <laughs> I have no idea what it is now. I stopped paying attention. This was, you know, I want to say this was the first game that I spent more than a hundred dollars on. I think it was too. I remember you saying, "I'm just gonna do it." Yeah. And, and then you did it. I've not spent over a hundred dollars on very many games since then. <laughs> like, have I, have I spent more than a hundred on any others? Maybe one or two. Yeah, maybe something at a. I know that maybe. some things were like really borderline. I wonder if I can show with the webcam if I can make this happen. So I added a bunch of layers to my uh, my system setup, and I mounted a new 
uh, shelf over top of my TV. I'll see if I can turn the camera to look at it. Kind of went out a little out of control. Now I have like all this room to grow if I ever needed to. That that the that black shelf back there is as tall as I am. <laughs> it's so stupid. But the the shelf the shelf above the TV is really more like it's not for to be functional. It's just for like display. Right, exactly. I mean, I can have different stuff on there. You know, like, as you'll see in this upcoming Soundtracks episode, I can use it because I can face the, the camera. Uh, I, can, I can stand here and have that in, as the background. Um, I I, I'm seeing the replay of how I was holding up the Monster World box. <laughs> you got to go down. Uh, you got to yeah. go way down. I, I, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Oh, I okay. I see. <laughs> there, there we go. It's a good game. It's a good game. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's my feet are so blurry. That's all right. Well, is that gonna is that gonna do it for us for tonight? Any, yeah, any, I reckon so. Any last questions from anybody? Um, any any closing thoughts on on the Night Trap documentary? I'm just I'm glad it's finally out there. Yeah, I hope it does. I mean, it's it's doing decently. Maybe right. it might be it might be a little underperforming than what I thought maybe it would do, but I think it's going to be a, a solid performer over time. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It, I think it's going to help. You never know. It, it'll it'll get discovered by other by other people and who knows it could blow up at some point but um but i mean it's just it's the feedback that that i'm so happy to hear that you know it's just like uh, maybe just just judging from comments maybe like the most universally liked thing we've ever done <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's just uh just so overwhelmingly positive yeah, yeah, I think that's the. That's how I feel about it too, and it's it's really exciting. I see somebody saying is is one GameCube, one GameCube that I have back there is, uh, just has component cables, and the other one is going to be modded with HDMI. For some reason, I thought you already had that done. I thought I was going to get it done last week, but it has not gotten done yet. Ah, and you know, like yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably never of, really I'll... like it's, it's it's very good for us to have have on hand for the future it's right. like you you got your nes modded with got the h the high def nes done mm -hmm. and you weren't expecting to use it very much and suddenly you're using it a lot well it, in part large part because voltar has my uh my rgb nes and uh my rgb famicom right now he's doing some work on them but you weren't going to put uh, it in, you weren't going to give it its own place in your setup until recently. Right. I was kind of just going to like have it on hand and I could just plug it in if I needed it. But yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I have used it, uh, you know, since I don't have my, uh, regular RGB systems on hand. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, something about it like looks way better on my new 4k TV. Uh, then like, I don't know. I, I think it's just cause it's bigger. Yeah. But I wasn't like, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as upscaled RGB, uh, largely because of like the, the aspect ratio and stuff like that. But I don't know, like just seeing it on my 4k TV, like I like it a lot more than, uh, than I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I can absolutely see myself using it, uh, more than I expected to tell you the truth. Yeah. Um, and I've got the, uh, the blinking light win in it. And so it's, uh, it's working real nice right now. <laughs> what I, what I ended up doing was I, I've, I've got the NT mini sitting on top of it right now, mm -hmm. which I, I'm not playing to use cartridges with NT mini a lot. Um, I'm probably going to go through like, um, I'm probably going to like do this, Thing where I'm going to just like dump all of my own carts to the NT Mini just because I want to. 
Um, but then after that, I'm probably not going to be like putting a lot of cartridges in it. Right. So I, I'm not going to be like putting pressure on top of the NES, you know, um, with it sitting on top. Yeah. So I think it'll be fine. Uh, Daniel Greenberg is asking about your shirt. Uh, the backlog shirts. We we did these. Um, Gosh, like six years ago, or something. It like was that. a pre, it was a pre. You know what? I think it was like right around the time. Um. Right around the time uh, I moved to my house, so that would have been about almost five years ago. Um. This actually has a, a hole in it. Actually, I think it's got two holes in it. But you can't see on the stream, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it actually, ha you know what? It happened while we were shooting Night Trap. Because I brought this shirt with me, and I had the gimbal in my suitcase. And uh, uh, it poked, while we were traveling, it poked uh, holes in the shirt. So the, 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 this is related to the Night Trap episode. We didn't even use the gimbal, but I thought I I, I wouldn't want so to be unprepared and not have it. Yeah. yeah. But it poked holes in my shirt, so now I know I got to be more careful uh, traveling with it in the future. Because <laughs> um, I just like I was I was protecting it with my clothes in my suitcase. You know, I was using them as padding. But anyway, I uh, know we did. We got I uh, they were printed locally. Um, we just we did a Kickstarter actually for them. You know, the goal was just like a thousand dollars, and if we if we if we raise at least a thousand dollars and just use the Kickstarters essentially to just pre-order the shirt, then it would you know we would be getting enough for it to be worth it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we've we've had these shirts for a while, but I, I've been thinking lately maybe we're maybe we're due for a another run. Yeah. Um, one last thing I kind of want to mention, uh, is that, uh, so we kind of launched a little website oh, at, yes. at, uh, at my life and Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty bare bones, but it's got some stuff that people might be interested in. Uh, we have like an episode notes, uh, section that we will be going back through every single episode and doing a games that appear in that episode. Yeah, so list. a lot of them are empty right now, but yes, we'll, work, we'll be working on it. Yes, it's a, it's a definite work in progress because we have like a hundred episodes, more than a hundred episodes to go through. Uh, but you know, like if if a game is in an episode, it'll be listed there. Uh, everything is in order of appearance, so if a game appears twice, it will not be listed again. And there's like not time codes, just like in terms of it would take forever if we did like time codes and all that stuff. Yeah. So if you're interested in checking that out, you should. Uh, other than that, is that going to do it? I guess that'll do it. All right. We will, uh, we'll see you next week. And then the week after that, we won't be, there'll be no stream the weekend after next because we'll be right. on our way back from Missouri, Missouri from, uh, yeah. St. Louis. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Good night.